vocal warm-ups because Stephen said to do them. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hope you're doing really good. I got a lavender plant. It smells amazing. You meant to put them outside though. I think it might die. Anyway. Shh. Shh. Anyway, the other day I fed a squirrel with my hands. It's very important because I absolutely love squirrels. I love squirrels. And there was this squirrel and I saw this guy, he had some nuts in his hand, he was feeding it in Brighton, if anyone cares. And I was like, wow! I had to ask him if I could have some nuts <laughs> so I could have a go at feeding the squirrel because I don't, you don't find squirrels every day that are like ready to, to eat off your hand, right? Are you filming? I can't see you without ruining my whole life. Um, so I had to kind of take this opportunity, so I very nicely asked him and he was like, yeah, so he gave me a little handful. And then it kind of got a bit awkward where I was like, well, it's my turn. You're gonna have to go on now and let me feed the squirrel. So he kind of like went off, um, thankfully. And then I just, oh my God, I got to feed the squirrel. This is really cute. He came down on this little branch uh, a few times and then like leant out. And then I got it to feed, I feed off my hand from the floor. It was very, very cute. So if you like feeding squirrels, there's a park in Brighton, just near the shopping, um, near, the, near the beach as well. I don't know, you'll find it. Since then, I've asked a few people about it and if they've just been like, yeah, yeah, haven't I mean, you been to this park where you feed the squirrel? I'm like, what? Like, it's, I live like um, two miles from this said park and they just, I didn't know about this and now I'm really like, why haven't I done this before? So I decided I want a pet squirrel. I want to bring it up from a baby. I don't know how this is going to happen. I don't know my plan yet, but I wanted to tell you about it. In other news, I am a month into this no chocolate thing. Can't you see my skin is gleaming? Not really. No, there hasn't been many changes. Um, apart from, I did actually get some headaches for the first week a little bit. I don't know if it's solely down to it because I remember having this symptom last year, but chocolate's the only thing I eat with like certain chemicals in and like caffeine and stuff sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but through lack of it, it can give you headaches. I've read this on Google and of course it's legit. I've been having loads of substitutes. I've made an abundance of cakes and flapjacks and all sorts of things. So yeah, um, I had to kind of sort that out and stop full stop. And then when I did go back to having like sugary things, <laughs> I got sugar rush and nearly passed out. <laughs> I'm in such a state lately, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I've had no chocolate for a month. Sorry, lampshade. I know I suggested to you all to give up something just so that when you have it, it can be really appreciated. Um, so if you have done that, well done. I hope it's going well. Do let me know. And just a quick one this week because today I'm going to Camden because it's very sunny. It was the first day of spring yesterday. So let's do an improvised song. The first day of spring, my daffodils won't sing. The sun is shining, love, but I don't care. The first day of spring, I'm waiting in for him. The ideal day for a picnic, it's not fair.